the Izanami, an ocular jutsu created by Naka Uchiha to directly counter the Izanagi. How this jutsu was created to be able to balance out the power scales in the Uchiha clan back in the beginning of the shinobi world. Now let's use the pitfall people. So in today's video, if you've been having trouble, uh, we've all dealt with this, getting pitfalled against Izanami. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving y'all some counters to be able, you know, to be able to deal with this jutsu and we can make Itachi proud. But if this is something you think you might be interested in, stay tuned to the end of the video. If you've been here before and you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you can know whenever we post videos like this. And let's go ahead and hop into this content. Take that with the best you can do, Austin. So, before we can counter something, you already know. Let me not even finish it. So, the Izanagi became an issue whenever multiple people could utilize it. This Jutsu wasn't really an issue. The Izanagi wasn't that bad whenever only one person had it. And what this Jutsu basically did, it allowed the user to be able to alter reality to whatever was going to be their desirable outcome. So any outcome that wasn't desirable to the caster, they would be able to change that. What the Izanagi was created to do was to be able to stop the Izanami from being able to warp reality. And basically what the Izanagi does, it, it captures a certain moment that happens when you're fighting or a certain feeling and then it just re-loops this feeling. And it's going to hold this person that's utilizing Izanami into this loop of Izanagi. And the only way that the person can get out of the Izanagi loop is by accepting the desired outcome. What we saw in the anime, when we were watching it, we saw whenever Kabuto was fighting Itachi, the only way that Kabuto was able to break out of the Izanagi, he had to reform himself. He had to accept himself for who he truly was and all the things that, you know, he took from Orochimaru and all the people that he interacted with. So, basically, the way that you counter this is you just gotta admit that you're mid. It's that simple. So, thank y'all for tuning in for today's video, and I'm gonna see y'all next time. We up! Nah, I'm just kidding. Hopefully you didn't click off the video. But so far, we only know that there's a certain few users that actually know how to use the Izanagi. And that's going to be Baru Uchiha, Rai Uchiha, Naka Uchiha, Danzo, Obito, Itachi, Madara, and Sasuke. Because he did read the stone tablet, so he was able to see the Izanagi and the Izanami. As far as the Izanami, the users that we know so far are Itachi, Sasuke, and Naka Uchiha, who was the first one to use it. So, the Izanami itself, the reason why it's such an issue in Shinobi Striker, isn't the fact that you know that it like makes you sit still for a little bit. It's the way that it's a double activation. And what the first activation does, it takes away, it resets your ninjutsu cooldown time. So this isn't going to allow you to even activate any jutsu that could actually counter this ultimate. And then with the second activation, that's when it renders the opponents unable to move. And you know, this is where you get pitfall. But the real thing is the initial thing, whatever the initial activation where it resets your ninjutsu cooldown times. Now the thing is, it doesn't take away your secret technique gauge and it doesn't take away your ninja tools. So I'm very curious to see with these new ninja tools that they're bringing into the game, if they end up bringing a ninja tool that allows us to be able to counter the Izanami, and that very well could be happening with the new pill that's coming out. I believe it's the, I don't remember the name of it, but you'll say it in the comments, the one that's going to give you the invulnerability frames. So, like I said, because Izanami resets your ninjutsu cooldown whenever the first activation happens, sadly, there's no regular ninjutsu that's going to counter this ultimate as it should be a little bit but we do have four counters one for each class that we can give you and these things are going to help you counter this and the first one's going to be with the attack types and that counter is going to be koto amatsukami hopefully i said that right now the thing is with all these counters you have to wait to activate your ultimate until after the first activization after the first activation of izanami so once you get that a first initial stun where the birds come around you and you get reset 
activate Koto. When you pop it, it's going to put your allies in a state where you're basically, you know, they're in a Sharingan state. So, once the second activation of Izanami happens from your opponents, you're not going to get stunned and you're not going to be standing still. So this is a very good counter, especially in team battle situations. The next counter is going to be with the range types, and this counter is going to be Susano Armor. Once again, well, not Susano Armor, Inferno Style Susano Flame Control. And the thing is, you need to activate this, like I said, after the first activation of Izanami, you pop the Inferno Style Susano Flame Control, and whenever Izanami gets activated the second time, you're not going to put to sleep. So this is going to work very well. The only thing is with this is it's only going to protect you. So your teammates are going to be fair game. But if you pop this at the right time, it could also help your teammates from getting attacked by anybody else because you're firing off the arrows. We move to the defense counter. This one that's going to work, but this one can also maybe protect your teammates, but it's going to be the Karma Linchpin Wild, which is what you get from the Barto Karma Release DLC. Now, with you utilizing this one, if you and your teammates are just together, you know, then you'll actually be able to activate the Karma and prevent y'all from getting hit with the Izanami, but a lot of the times, unless you're very coordinated, y'all aren't going to be running together, so this, this you know, counter kind of really goes as being like a single a singular counter just for you. But the fact that you can get Karma Linchpin back so many times, this is very well going to be a good jutsu to run for defense type if you're going to be the one that's designated to be able to counter Izanami. And then the last counter that we're going to have is for the healer types, and this was very interesting. And some of y'all are probably going to be like, whoa, this jutsu might be going up my list. And the jutsu that counters Izanami is My Tonic Regeneration. So the thing is, like I said, if you activate this right after the first activation of Izanami, once the sleep part comes in, you're not going to be still. You're going to be able to still move. And this also affects allies, but I didn't get to try out if the removing status alignment thing is going to affect your allies where they can still move when Izanami is activated. So if you have tried this or if you're going to, let me know in the comments how that goes for you. Try to run my tonic regeneration up against Izanami and let me know how it works if it works for all the teammates. But I know for sure it works for the caster. But hey man, uh, another ultimate down. So the thing is, the reason why I said I don't really like countering ultimates too much is, you know, you get videos like this where there's not a lot of normal jutsus that are going to counter these ultimates, but an ultimate can counter an ultimate. And like I said, we just got to keep track of what ninja tools they bring into the game because Izanami doesn't reset your ninja tools. It only resets your ninjutsu cooldown time and you keep your secret technique gauge. So. From this video, the best counters for you to use is definitely going to be Koto and Mitonic Regeneration if it works for the whole team. So you can just, you know, team talk with your uh, teammates and figure out who's going to be the designated person to counter Izanami or countering, you know, Infinite Tsukuyomi from my last video. But I thank y'all for tuning in for today's video. Make sure to drop in the comments anything else that you want me to counter. And like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'm going to see y'all next time. We up. For real this time.